Boys and girls, welcome back to another video, another day, another session. Today marks a very special day. Why is it special, you ask? Because it's Optimization Monday. Except it's not actually Monday, it's like Wednesday. <laughs> but we're still gonna do some optimization. For those of you new around here, how's it going? My name's Randy. I'm programming a video game, and I've been doing that for quite some time now. Anyone know how I program a video game? Easy. It's with a text editor. A text editor comes in, you grab a file, you go beep, boop, 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 boop. You compile it all together, you run it, and bada bing, bada boom. But, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> now this text editor right here that I'm using is called Forcoder. The reason why Forcoder is special is you can create an entire custom layer, essentially customizing every single inch of the editor with C, C++ code. But the only issue with that is, it's a little bit tricky to actually dip your toes in and get started to begin with because there's, you know, a lot to it. I actually only just stumbled across this article like yesterday, someone in the Discord linked it. And I was like, wow, that would that would be amazing if I, if I had this when I first started. You know, this just goes over the basics of everything we need to know to get started with a custom layer. So for quite some time now, the custom layer that I've been using is uh, Ryan Flurry's custom layer. Link down in the description if you wanna check that out. Quite nice, it's got a few things right out of the gate that uh, are really quite helpful. So what we're essentially gonna be doing is extending Ryan's custom layer and adding our own stuff on top of that, which you know I personally find helpful and could find useful to speed up and optimize my entire code editing process. Hopefully, uh, think better, not mess around too much with, I, I don't know. <laughs> now our custom layer is of course known as the Sigma Energy Manifestation Environment Notepad. And the goal of this custom layer is simple. We're gonna create the sexiest programming environment known to man. Give yourself the right tools for the job, make input sleek, minimal, and efficient. There's a few things right off the bat that we can work on, like this right here. I would love, 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 love to uh, remake Obsidian in the custom layer. But I'm thinking, right? We can implement all the features that Obsidian has, all the nice features, like, uh, for example, bi-directional links, go back here. Um, that's really it. <laughs> if we can implement that, then we can use Forcoder and we can do cool stuff like, uh, in, in order to document this function, just be like, world update. And then, you know, you could go into that and then that would have a new file and it could have a big description of what's going on, like how to use it, whatnot, all that kind of cool stuff. Instead of taking up like all of this for documentation, which, you know, I mean, kind of makes sense, but we can save that for our tools of, you know. I don't really know why I want to implement it. I basically just fucking do. <laughs> That's not a good reason. I think it'd just be cool to be able to kind of have code snippets within here because it's kind of hard to store code snippets within Obsidian. It's more like I'd rather be in a programming environment storing notes than being in a note environment storing programs, if that makes sense. That's my best way of putting it. <laughs> why? Why me? God, why? Wow, what's that? What do we have here? It's, it's a... Boxu is a premium Japanese snack box service delivered straight to your door with a different theme each month. Great to share with friends and family, but uh, let's be real, you'll probably just get one whiff of it and eat the whole goddamn thing in two days flat like I did. Boxu would make for the perfect gift for anyone in your life who appreciates Japanese snacks and culture, especially during a time where people aren't able to travel as easily as they'd like. And you'll technically be gifting them not just Boxu, but a chance to win a free trip to Japan. Boxy will be picking five winners out of their subscribers to win a free set of tickets. There'll be a link in the description so you can check out the terms, conditions, and methods of entry. So use my code RANDY10 at checkout or follow the link in the description to become eligible to win the giveaway by subscribing to Boxy. You'll get 10% off your subscription, so don't miss out on this unique opportunity available for anyone who subscribes until December 31st. Big thanks to Boxy for sponsoring this vid. Now back to the content. Look at all those snackies! We'd go to that, boys. <laughs> Woohoo, baby. Live unboxing, right here. It's a nice little card. Since my early days of living in Japan, I've loved discovering delicious snacks from local Japanese snack makers. Which is why I'm thrilled to present to you the first box curated across the culturally rich regions and seasons of Japan. I would also like to wholeheartedly thank and- Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate the welcome, but I just want some snacks. Oh shit, is that a green tea? I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. God damn. I feel like Uncle Iroh up in this bitch, baby. God damn. 
So really our goal today is to actually get a custom working layer done, not rewritten from, Ryan, from, from Ryan's layer, but just import what we need from Ryan's layer. So that's it really. We're just gonna get started with uh, actual custom layer development. Let's go. We ain't here to fluff around. Alrighty. How on earth do I make a custom layer? This article is more introduction to 4 a custom layer. Really? Blah, 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 blah. Custom layer is built into a shared library. Yep, 4 custom custom layer. Well. Custom layer using 4 as libraries. So before you build, make sure 4 is updating. To make updates oh. to a new version of 4 as simple as dropping the new files in the directory, not caring about overwriting a modification copy of custom, custom. For code default bindings or CPP. All right. So let's just kind of make sure that we've got the environment set up how we want it. And by we, I mean me, because I am the only person here. We've got the full code of Flurry, which is the entry point for Ryan Flurry's custom layer. I think I made my own semen. Yes, yes. And if I run this, yeah. So this is the uh, this is the current state of four coder. One where you cannot input absolutely anything at all because I haven't done any key bindings. There is only one buffer and it's the scratch. Uh, yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's about it. Welcome to my brand new editor, guys. And did I mention that, of course, the exit button does not work and we have to Alt F for it. Even then, that does not work. So we have to go into the task manager and uh, physically end it. Oh no, it's a game of roulette. Which one is it? I'm guessing the one with less CPU usage. <laughs> All right, so the question right now is how much of Ryan's custom layer do I copy over and use? Like, I would like to only copy over the things that I personally use, you know? You know that way I can understand it nicely so I can extend it properly uh, and I'm not kind of just flooded with a bunch of uh, random stuff. So he's got a few functions here. So he's got set absolutely necessary bindings, four code of flurry bindings. And we got the default bindings. Right now, all my bindings basically come from the actual bindings file. How the fuck are the bindings? They're in here. What's a good play in text editor? You can use like notepad plus plus. I don't want to use VS code because it takes too fucking long to open. Like, watch this. That's like a whole second, bro. So I want something faster. Like, I know that's petty as shit, but come on, dude. It adds up. So I also don't need all the shit tacked onto VS code. Like, I just want to view text and edit it. That's all I fucking want. If I want more stuff, I'll use a proper editor like Fork Coder. Sublime is pretty fast. All right, if it doesn't open in one millisecond flat, I'm a riot. Open with... Choose app, sublime. Ooh, that's good. I like that. I like that. Right now I'm tempted to just create my own default bindings from scratch and like literally just bind what I need and what I use just to keep it simple. I don't know though. I feel like it's hard to transition custom ways like this. You must have to take everything and stuff from scratch and create the bindings that you need them. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm thinking right now. Hey. So we're gonna start from scratch. So we'll start off with the absolutely necessary bindings. I'd love to extend this up. Oh my God. I had no idea that was a thing. <laughs> that makes things a lot easier. All right, quick little update. I have just spent the last uh, probably half an hour messing around with this and just trying to get the actual custom way just set up in a way that I can develop it nicely because right now it's just all kinds of scuffed. But I did just get to a point so now I can actually see the entirety of Fork Coder and not just the uh, custom layer stuff. So that's kind of cool. There's a bunch of Fork Coder stuff in here, right? And now I actually have access to it. So I can see what this does. Vars save with the string lit does this. Lit expression, which does... Uh, uh, Oh God, oh fucking God. I don't know what any of this does. It's nothing to do with saving strings, but at least we've got that now. And I can uh, actually traverse fork code and peek inside the uh, the actual code before just blindly copying this stuff over. Those right there are the default bindings. Um, I think, you know, we could probably just copy over this entire thing, except for the implicit map. I need to figure out what this does as well. Stay tuned, hear me out. Just go to that and we just literally include the uh, runs because functions don't actually get linked unless they're called, right? So they're not gonna give me errors if I do that. All right, never mind. Uh, I'm I'm a dumb dumb apparently. Let's back it up and keep doing what I'm doing. Um, now implicit map function, I I you don't know what this is, so I'm guess I'm just gonna kind of like figure out what this is used for. We're just gonna compile that and we're just gonna get rid of a bunch of stuff. All right, mapping undeclared identifier. Not bad. I would like this to build faster. We're gonna look into that next. Hey, 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 hey. 
<laughs> Siemens startup event. I shouldn't say that out loud too loud. So this is just a bunch of font stuff. And it's literally just is file readable, which we, you know, we could copy over from Rand's as well. Um, it's literally just a Win32 thing, I think, that he's kind of like hard coded in there just for the sake of it, because he's, uh, why not? Actually, no, it's an F open. What chill on, what chill on. It is a Win32 thing that that would be proper scuff. That, that's like a Randy move right there. All right, moment of truth. For some reason, this doesn't feel like it's worked at all because uh, I still can't fucking close out all four code So I'll, what's the deal with that, bro? I'm guessing my layer just did, isn't getting copied or something, I don't know. So I'm trying to build the layer, but it's it's not looking like it's updating properly. So I'm guessing the custom isn't just being copied properly. So I'm gonna delete the custom, do a rebuild. And if it says, uh oh, no custom layer found, then that's how we know that it's not being put in properly, which is most likely the case. Or maybe it's not the case. All right, so the custom layer has been copied properly, but for some reason, our uh, new updates to it don't work at all. So uh, that's always cool. Oh, I think the reason it's not doing the bindings properly, if we go into good old uh, semen.cpp. Semen. Oh. So we're calling this, right? Set necessary bindings. Oh, I actually didn't even set any of this up. I just uncommented it all out. <laughs> but this try exit should work, which is kind of what I'm after. But I'm thinking what's happening, right, is we are setting the hook, the semen startup, right? Which is then kind of overriding this somehow. So I think that's why it's then called again for the second time. Like it's called twice here as well. Run. Will it exit? One job. Come on, just, just throw me a bone. Throw me a bone. Okay, so maybe there's more to it than this. I will not be defeated. We will get it closing by pressing the X button. If it's the last thing I do. Yeah, so I mean, I'm curious as to why these bindings aren't being set here to begin with. Oh, I don't mean there. I mean here, but you know, is what it is, I guess. Files, code, like maybe the globals aren't being set properly because they're not being parented or anything like that. And maybe we're not on the right thing. Just a hunch, surely. Oh, yes! Let's go! So if I had to guess, well, not guess because I just did it, uh, but you know, if actually, yes, I am guessing. So if I had to guess, the reason that now works is not because any of this, but surely because of the fact that we've selected the file map and we've parented that to the global map so that it inherits it, right? Parented the code to the file. So so it's actually got the global settings now, I believe. And because it's got the global, it's like, all right, now we're actually doing our thing, which, you know, is be an actual working editor, which is amazing. Look at this. It works. Uh, I've been sitting here for almost three hours at this point, uh, trying to get that working. So I'm glad that's done. We are a long, long, long ways away from having a proper working code editor that, that we can use right now. Uh, but it is a step in the right direction. We've just got to bring in a bunch more of the stuff bunch more of the goodies. Yeah, take it from there, I guess. Still got a long way to go. It's far from usable, uh, but chipping away at it bit by bit. Eventually we'll have a fully working custom layer on four coder up and running. You guys will be able to start using it and we can just develop it together. Make it the best goddamn editor known to man. Pull out all the stops, baby. All the stops. Whatever we need to make this good, you know, we will do. I don't want to spend too much time on this, right? Because I've actually got to go make a game and the editor that I'm using is uh, more than fine. Look at it. It works. It works, you can type, that's all that really matters. All right, peace out boys. Take care.